What's up everyone, this is Mr. King Lamer here, and today I'm bringing to you an opening which I'm very excited about. Uh, it is a Legendary Collection Game Board Edition. Now this is the first Legendary Collection. Um, this was actually uh, reprinted uh, at the start of 2018, so um, basically that means there's a lot of nostalgia available on the market. So, what, is that? what does uh, the first Legendary Collection come with? Uh, this is based on the American one, by the way. The European one's slightly different. I'll explain that in a sec. So, the game board has the game board down there. Then it has uh, the three Egyptian god cards. Uh, this is not playable, but it's the primary ones. Then we have Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and Dark Magician. And for our packs, we actually get six of the first uh, packs ever made. Um, it's not the first six packs, because I believe uh, Veil of Darkness came before Invasion of the Chaos. I believe that's correct. So we've got a Legend of Blue Eyes, a Metal Raiders, a Spell Roller, a Pharaoh Servant, a Dark Crisis, and Invasion of Chaos. So, um, oh, there is, sorry, there is actually one thing I should explain. Uh, the European Binder had actually had two Legend of Blue Eyes, two Metal Raiders, and two of Pharaoh Servant. It didn't have Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, or Spell Roller, so I had those three packs. And uh, the oh, also nice, the European ones are actually glossier than the American ones, just uh, just to clarify that. Oh, um, actually, I've just remembered, I do have to clarify one thing in the video. Um, this, uh, the I do admit, this Legend Collection uh, Game World Edition, this will actually be the start of a, um, a new schedule. Because um, I wanted to bring out some more nostalgic products and some better content. So uh, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm probably going to go to one video a week, but that will allow me to invest in some better content for the channel. So like some older openings and things like that. So uh, just to clarify, this will probably start a trend for the next couple of weeks uh, of a one video a week uh, channel basis. But uh, I am hoping to do some, uh, some more nostalgic content as a result so I can invest in more product. Just, just want to clarify that, by the way. So, anyway, uh, let's get this open and see what we have. I'm really looking forward to opening up a Legend Collection Game Board Edition. Has been quite, a, has been quite a long time since I opened one of these. So, uh, let's put that like that. So, uh, the primer pack. Um, I'm actually wanting. I'm at. I have to admit, I do actually want to keep this sealed because. I believe uh, primer packs from Legacy Collection are actually quite valuable, uh, so I hope you hope you uh, understand that. So I'm just going to put that there. So, but I will definitely be opening these. So we have a Pharaoh Seven, a Legend of Blue Eyes, Dark Crisis, a Metal Raiders, Invasion of Chaos, and Spell Roller. Now Spell Roller, uh, actually, we had pretty good luck with because um, back in December we actually opened up five of these. Uh, was it six? As uh, five or six, and we actually did get a hollow rare. Uh, ult we did get an ultra rare Toon Summon Skull, so we've had pretty good luck with Spell Roller. And now I'm just gonna. I will show the game board as well, so it's hiding at the base. So uh, a bit of creaking. So we've got Joey, Yugi, Kaiba, and then on the back. We have uh, Slifer, Obelisk, and Ra. That's a better look at Ra. There we go. You know what, actually? Yeah, we'll use that as a playmat. We'll uh, use that as the background. Let's put that down there. Let's get the packs. Let's get the game board there. Okay, so it won't flatten completely, but no, that's fine. So that will, that will roughly do the trick, I think. So, yes. So, this is definitely going to be nostalgic, that's for sure. So, uh, what one should we start with? Uh, now, just because it's letting the blue eyes, I want to say that to last, because that's really nostalgic. Uh, I will go with Metal Raider 2nd, because this is arguably my favourite set ever made, I have to admit, Metal Raiders. Uh, we'll tell you what, we will start with Dark Crisis.
So we'll start with Dark Crisis. So we have Battle Scarred, uh, Arsenal Rubber, uh, Blindly Loyal Goblin, and oh, we already got an Ultra Rare. Wow. Held Blast by a Tribute. And uh, we got uh, Infernal Queen Archfiend as well. Well, Outstanding Dog, Maroon, Camelback, Arsenal Summoner, and Dark Scorpion, Chick the Yellow. So, wow, we already started off with an Ultra Rare. Uh, Blast held by a tribute. Uh, I believe this card was used in the Battle City arc with uh, I can't remember Merrick's sister. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember the name of Merrick's sister, but she used. She was going to use this card against Kyber uh, in their duel. So uh, yes, that is a very good start. Already got an ultra row. Pharaoh's servant. <clears throat> So we have Solemn's Law Book, Skull Mariner, Solemn Wishes. No way! Imperial Order Secret Rare! Oh, jeez! Well, admittedly, this could have been the Jinzo, but uh, wow, I will take that. An Imperial Order Secret Rare from its original pack. Cr blimey. And appropriates. <laughs> Darkfire Soldier, Shadow of Eyes, Insect Imitation, and DNA Surgery. Very good, very good comment. Wow, so we got Imperial Order from its original pack. Uh, this card is um, isn't banned anymore. It's been a rot. It's been eroded, but um, I believe the secret rare is actually might actually hold some value now because of that. Holy cow! Oh, sorry, that's Solomon Blue Book. It's appropriate renewed. So wow, two cut two. Really good start already. We've got an ultra a secret from the first two packs. Invasion of Chaos. Now this would be really good to get a hollow. I believe this is one of the most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever made, if I'm correct. Witch Doctor of Chaos, Chaos Sorcerer, that's a very good common there. Although the colour looks a little bit faded, I have to admit. Uh, Zero Gravity, uh, Death Kangaroo, and we have a Berserk Gorilla. Uh, Spar Tail <laughs> Collapse. Ojama Delta Hurricane, I believe that's a good co common to get. Mind you, 10,000 Hands, that's definitely a good common. And Griffin's Feather Duster. Actually, in fairness, I think I actually did need one of those, so, you know, I'm actually going to put that to the side. Yeah, I think I actually did need one of those, so that's good. Good that I got one of those. Uh, spell Roller. Then we have the same luck we had last time. We have Rear Run, Fairy's Hand Mirror, uh, Typhoon 2, uh, Turtle Oaf, and we have Shining Angel. Uh, Chain Energy, Molten Destruction, uh, Jukun Bakudan and Final Destiny. Right, Metal Raiders, possibly my favourite set. Oh, come on. Oh, cards do not want to come out. There we go. So it's Swords of Deep Salted, Baby Dragon, a Labyrinth Tank, one of my favourite commons ever made, uh, Dream Clan, and we have Princess of uh, Tasurugi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Flame Cerberus, Blast Juggler, uh, Battle Steer, and Ukuchi. Um, I'm looking at the cards. This this one actually uh, seems a bit of an off, odd colour after a minute. So, now the final pack. The one that started it all, well, for Konami at least in English, Legend of Blue Eyes. Book of Secret Arts. Medivac, uh, Green Phantom Knight, uh, Larvis, and we have a Dragon Capture Jar. I seem to pull this one a lot. I swear this is my fourth one now from Legends of the Blue Eyes Packs. Uh, uh, Armeal, Dark Ray, Power of Kaisujin, and One-Eyed Shield Dragon. So, overall, um, that was a pretty fun opening, of course. Obviously, you're guaranteed to get the Hollows. You're guaranteed to get the God Cards, so that's pretty good there. So, for the Rares... We've got Dragon Capture Gar, Gar, Jar, Princess of Tasurugi, uh, Shining Angel, Berserk Gorilla, Appropriate, and... Wait, that's not, no, that's not the rare. Oh, I did make one mistake. Uh, we needed... Oh, sorry, it was Infernal Infernal Queen Archfiend. That was the one we needed, not Battle Scarred. <laughs> but, for... we actually, Oh, we also did get t uh, Monju of the Ten Thousand Hands. Just as a fun fact from Invasion of the Chaos. And we also got 
uh, blast held by tribute and a secret imperial order. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool right there. I have to say to get some well to get any hollows from the original set, but to get uh, the secret imperial order from uh, Pharaoh's servant, that's pretty good. So anyway, there was an opening of a Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend Collection game board, and yes, uh, I will guarantee you, uh, I will be getting some more of these at some point because uh, these are just really nostalgic. And because they got reprinted, they're actually a pretty good price. There are only a few quid more than the uh, Legend Collection Kaiba, which just came out last month. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this opening. If you did, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and also like this video. Uh, yeah, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Uh, and also, if you want to help support Mr. King Lin, then please check out my Patreon the Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash life king or my Teespring store at teespring.com. I hope you've enjoyed this opening, and for now, this is Mr. King Lim, signing out.